Gary from Big Spud and today I want to review for you the Sage A Bit More Four Slice Toaster. Sage or Breville as they are also known in other parts of the world make a whole range of toasters. The Two Slice, the Smart Slice, uh, anyway this is the Four Slice A Bit More named for its A Bit More button down there. I decided to pick up this toaster and see what it was like. I was in the market for a new toaster so let's check it out. First, what do you get in the box? Well, not too many surprises, nothing really exciting there. It's quite a wide, deep toaster. Here's a quick shot of the measurements if you want to have a look. And a lot of people ask, well, does it fit a slice of bread? So I got a slice of Warburton's, that's the best selling slice loaf in the UK and tried it out. Here you can see two slices side by side. So what does it come with in terms of features? It's got a cable tie. You can wrap the cable underneath to keep it straggling all over your worktop. It has a crumb tray, much like other toasters do. Let's have a quick look over the buttons. So you've got the famous a bit more button. I'm going to come back to that one in a minute. You've got the crumpet button. And what that does is that engages the elements more on the inside rather than the outside. So it cooks the top of the bread more than the other sides. And you've got the frozen button. You get those on a lot of toasters. That just adds a little bit more cooking time on top of what you're doing. And a cancel button so you can stop what you're doing. Furthermore, toasting is controlled via this slider at the bottom with these neat little LEDs. The best thing about these is they count down while the toast is cooking. In other words, you can see how long you've got left before your toast is ready. Silly little feature, but one I use a lot. Also, while toasting, you can also lift this handle at any point during cooking and you're able to see what's on the inside. And it doesn't cancel the cooking time. Another little simple feature, which I wish was on more toasters. The crumpet feature makes the inner elements hotter than the outer ones. This means for crumpets, the surface gets lovely and crisp, while the bottom stays nicely toasted. Works well on bagels too. And now the feature that gave it its name, the a bit more button. It's not complicated, it literally just cooks it more for 30 seconds. Why is that so useful? Well, I'm sure we've all done it. We do need a, a bit more, so we just whack the toaster on again, get distracted and come back to charcoal. Well, the bit more just does it for 30 seconds and pops up again. Toast also pops up with a bleep, which you can configure. The manual tells me you can press a combination of buttons and turns it off. So, is it worth it? At time of writing, this toaster is about £99, so it's on the pricey side as toasters go. I'll put a link down below so you can check out prices in your area. Uh, it has a brushed steel finish, much like all the other Sage and Breville range. I have a couple of others, so it works well for me. You can decide whether a brushed steel is your thing or not. I wish more toasters had the ability to just pop it up during toasting. Having a little countdown LED timer on the front though is genius. I love that feature. One of those things you didn't know you needed until you have it. I wish more toasters would copy a couple of those features. So it's good on the pricey side, but I think I say that about every Sage equipment. But I do always like the way they're put together, and I do like the innovative features they always put into their appliances. I give it four spuds out of five. Have you used this toaster or one of other Sage's toasters? Let me know in the comments down below how you found it. Is it overpriced? Does it do the job? Does it actually cook toast? That's all for me. Bye for now.